Good afternoon. You're listening to Watchmen on the Pod, and this is Pamela. We are going to begin a new type of series here, and it is going to be daily inspirations from Proverbs. And I was blessed to go to the store yesterday and got a whole bunch of little books, free books. And so in it, it's got uh, this one is scriptures from proverbs and also like a daily prayer to go along with it um i'm going to be reading um scriptures out of the uh kjv but also out of the world english bible go back and back with that so you can compare and listen um right here this is the introduction to this little book and it's called daily inspirations from proverbs a proverb is a gift of wisdom wrapped in words. Found in the Old Testament, Proverbs imparts the insights of Solomon and others as teachings designed to compare and contrast the behaviors of someone wise with someone foolish, someone moral with someone immoral, someone mature with someone lacking in maturity. People would come from near and far to hear the unique wisdom of King Solomon of Israel. We need only open the pages of the Bible to glean that wisdom today. Many of the Proverbs in this treasured book are directed from father to son or mother to son. Yet we all can learn from their succulent and to the point statements about life, love, community, and relationship. We can all benefit from the experiences of those who came before us and learn from their mistakes so that we don't repeat them. Today, we have our collection of modern sayings and clever phrases to impart wisdom to family, friends, and colleagues. But most of what we deem new is just a rewording of the old, for true wisdom is ageless and timeless, forever offering the keys to mastering the lessons of a well-lived life. For those times when wisdom seems all but lost to us, we can always turn to prayer for help and guidance from a God who is all-wise and all-knowing. George Mueller said, God not only orders our steps, he orders our stops. So our first reading today will be in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 and it reads trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths and then in the world English Bible it says trust in Yahweh with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight the prayer to that is my lord and my god i thank you for guiding me whenever i try to do my own thing apart from you my plans invariably fall apart but then i humbly come back to you and you graciously welcome me back Again and again, you redeem my errors and shine light on my situation, showing me what to do. So right now, I acknowledge you. Please straighten my path. Lead me on into an extraordinary future of grace and blessing. And I will always be grateful. Amen. Take these words and put them in your heart. Meditate on them, think about them, and pray about them. We should always, always lean on the Lord's understanding and not our own. His ways are so far above our ways. I love you all. You have a great day.